Egypt's army-backed government has resigned en masse. The Prime Minister, Hazem al-Biblawi, and his cabinet submitted their resignations today. That clears the way for the popular army chief, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, to run for president. But al-Sisi still hasn't even confirmed if he's going to run. Ashraf Khalil is a journalist and author. He's based in Cairo, and he joins me now live with more. This was a surprise, this cabinet resignation. What is behind the move, Ashraf? At this point, Hala, it is an absolute mystery. It came out of the blue. Nobody was really expecting this kind of resignation. It's the kind of move that prompts lots of speculation as far as hidden agendas. As you said, one of the theories that's being floated is that this clears the way for Defense Minister Abdel Fattah al-Sisi to begin his run for the presidency. But in that context, it really didn't seem to be necessary to get rid of the whole government in order for him to do that. He could have merely resigned and say he was answering the call of the people and sold it that way. So it really is a mystery, especially considering that we do have presidential elections coming up in just over two months. Elections have not been announced. The, the, the exact date has not been announced, but it's expected to be in the second half of April. So whatever government is going to come in is going to be a complete lame duck, is going to have two months to run. So it's, it's not reasonable to expect that whatever government is going to come in is going to be able to function as an effective government. So the timing of this really is a mystery and is prompting all sorts of speculation here. But what are the mechanics of, uh, of all of this if the, uh, since the government has resigned? How, how does it then clear the way for Sisi to make a run for the presidency? Well, according to that theory, it removes him from the cabinet. And, and, and then opens the door for him to, to launch his presidential campaign. But as you said, people have been waiting for about two months now for him to announce it's widely expected. It, it has, frankly, warped the entire presidential race already. People are, are deciding not to run because they assume he's going to run and that there's no point in throwing their hat in the ring. But as and, of right now, right. he has not run. He has acted very presidential. Frankly, he has appeared in civilian clothes. He has gone to Russia and spoken with Vladimir Putin, where Putin possibly uh, ruined the script by congratulating him <laughs> on his decision to run, even <laughs> though he hasn't announced yet. So it's all happening in the context of this widely assumed and sort of slam dunk of a presidential run by the, I guess, former, at this point, defense minister, Abdel Fattah Sisi. Right. And so, but, but in Egypt, he's a popular man, right? I mean, are, is, it, is he a shoe-in if he decides to run? I think it would be hard to imagine anyone defeating him, given the current mood in Egypt, given the very strong yeah. and very intense cult of personality that has built up around him in the past seven months since he led the coup to, to, to oust Mohamed Morsi from the presidency. Uh, it really is very intense and very focused around him specifically. Uh, I think most potential presidential contenders, and there are three or four people who have announced their candidacy, but they are not considered a serious challenge to a CC at this point if he decides to run. And, and briefly, from the outside looking in, of course, we keep covering jailed journalists, such as our colleagues from Al Jazeera English, opponents in jail, mass arrests of Muslim Brotherhood members. From the outside looking in, this looks like a, a military-backed uh, government that's abusing its powers. But inside of Egypt, that's not the view, it seems. Well, it can be both. It can be both a military-backed government that's abusing its powers and have the support of the majority of the people. And that, at this very unique moment in Egyptian history, that is kind of what is happening. This government does have the support of a great deal of the Egyptian people. It's hard to say a majority because it hasn't been tested at the ballot box. But it is a popular government, and it does appear to be abusing its privileges.